my whole life is is art and food you know they they just go together i always have these visions i'll be walking down the street and i'll see like a a color of a branch and then that that color of that branch makes me think of a texture of, of a dish or the color and then it, it starts going into all these different phases of what it could be i feel like my job is as a, as a as a cook is to translate some of those visions onto a plate and onto some sort of experience and that's what i've been doing for 25 years This has pretty much blown mm. any expectation or any event we've had. We've yeah. had meals, we've had events with incredible food, incredible wine, but very rarely this kind of experience. It's something that human beings take for granted, generally speaking, a sensory experience. So a com combination of your, your olfactory with your vision, with what the environment and the sound and then of course with your palate and what you're experiencing on the plate it just it takes you it takes you on a journey she had her vision and i knew it would be great but i didn't think it would be spectacular i love that this happened in calgary because i think calgary has amazing amazing talent the execution was far above my expectations yeah. and you, you, we've had liana dinners before and they're amazing they're always amazing but if you add Jason McKay to the formula, then it's, it's just a superlative experience. It really was an experience. The Chen started out um, in 1248 in France, and it had a, a short life, and its purpose was to have um, a guild of rotisserers on the spit. And so when the French Revolution happened, the Chen actually ceased to exist and it was brought back in 1950. And then in Canada, the first order of the Chen started in 1960 in Montreal. The Chen currently is in 80 countries with over 25,000 members. And the purpose of the Shen is to celebrate all things food related. When you do this, you set out this and you have this idea, you have this creativity and you are working on it. It's like this little goal of can you, can you do it? Uh, are people gonna receive it? Because you know, in, in cooking, just like in everything, it's like there is a certain, there is a certain percentage of people that you're, they're not gonna get it. They're, 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 they don't like it, they don't appreciate it, they don't understand it. You know, they want like just plain old cheese on a plate and give me a piece of, of tenderloin and we're good. You know, as long as it's cooked perfect and it has a good pairing, we're happy. That's what it's about. But for me, having an opportunity to to host a, a dinner is more than that. It's really about, you know, pushing myself creatively and getting a, this collaboration of like the, the team that's, that's with me and service, service team that we're together and we're creating this unique experience for these diners to have. You know, we're talking about the diners, uh, the audience that for these dinners, you know, they're, they're global travelers. You know, they've been to many three-star Michelin restaurants. They've, they've had all these experiences. So what are you gonna give to them that's gonna equal you know, or challenge their other experiences that they want to say, hey, this is one of my favorite food experiences that I've had this year. I mean, at the end of the day, every Shane is a catered event, no matter where you are, whether you're in a restaurant. The difference that we are doing is we are trying to invoke emotion and change through visual, through scent. Not to say that everyone hasn't done that, right? You burn some wood in the back, so you smell it in the front, and then you try it. I don't know if anybody's pushed the visual AV side of it in everyone that I've been to. Well, usually, usually these these events, these dinners are they are rewarded on food and wine pairings, right? And ambiance plays into it, but in a very you know supporting kind of role. But the dinner that we're going to be executing isn't really just about the food. It isn't just about the wine. It isn't about the ambiance. It's about that this journey. You know, our goal is to take you know, 40 people and have them together go on this journey of a storm. So to experience this collectively, 
I think really heightens the well, I think will heighten the experience of what they're what they drink and what they eat because they're together, right? That the, the kitchen isn't going to the environment isn't going to look like a dining room, you know. It's it's not going to look like something that they're used to sitting in. It the, it, the environment has changed to enhance what they're going to have to eat. You know, this is going to in, introduce sensory, like you know, uh, AV and um, s you know, sound, so visually, and, and they can hear it and, and and scent as well. You know, we plan to have like when you walk in, there'll be all these diffusers, so that they'll, they'll change it right away. So already that'll change your experience. So as soon as they walk in through the door, they're on this journey. And this journey, you know, of a storm progressing, they're on it together. And so I think collectively, people's energies together will heighten that experience. Well, I think by us capitalizing on all the senses, um, to me should be a no brainer. The reality is eating food does engage your senses. You look at your food always, you smell your food, you can sometimes hear it, depending if you've got some crunch or something like that. Um, I don't think we engage our senses enough when we eat. So I think that we are, I think because of the fact that we are going to engage the senses so much in this meal through uh, exterior uh, sounds and smells and environments, I think it's going to really change their perception. People always ask Leanna, well when can I come try your food and when can I do this? And we said, book an event, you know, and people are scared of that. But it's no different than booking a dinner reservation for 20. Our biggest dream was not to focus just on her in the kitchen and just how amazing the food is, but to focus on amazing partners and people and the decor and, and the AV and the, the, the build up to what takes to do an event of this magnitude for 38 people. We do it for 380, we've done it for 4,000. And how do you take those little snippets of such a fancy dinner and do it into a barbecue or, you know, there's so much to what we do. Um, just trying to understand that, trying to let the customer and the people understand that it's more than the chef flinging a knife around and being creative, it has to do with the chairs, the AV, the lighting, the pictures, the the entrances, the tenting, the you know, and we've got epic partners who have supported us through this crazy dream of ours um, that we couldn't have done this. So it's 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 a dream come true. What we want to talk about today is like a little think tank. Um, so we're doing this dinner, and I think it was a, a good idea to get everyone together to really talk about what the vision for this dinner is and where we're trying to go and then everyone's role in this dinner. Because everybody at this table has a big role in helping to succeed this dinner. This vision of this storm, so you think about if it's a storm in a forest, uh, we've broken down to the Shane dinner, which, which um, Maria and Ali are very, and Michael are very familiar with, is the Shane is like nine courses. So we've broken this up into three acts. So one is calm before the storm, um, act two is shelter, and act three is rainbows and dewdrops, or dewdrops and rainbows, however we like that. Uh, and I think it's important to talk to us about, we talk about what the vision of the storm is, because we, the other day, talked to, um, well, to Christine, and we talked to the, the artist Desiree, and, you know, they brought, and the AV people, uh, and they had some really interesting ideas of what, like, what a storm is. Was, was completely different than what I think it, it, it is. So it's good that we all talk about, like, if you see a storm, when you see the clouds rolling in, how do you feel about that storm and where does it take you through it? The food is the, going to steal the show, obviously, but in, in, the, in the show of the food is the show of the AV, the lights, the, the darkness, the... Um, and so we really have to consider, you know, meeting with the artists. We all have different visions yeah. coming together and going, how do you actually produce that? Um, as we know, you know, food is the food, but in everything that we're going to do here, there's going to be AV, there's going to be lights, there's going to be sounds, there's going to be drummers, there's going to be uh, a storyteller. So um, we need to go through, obviously, the food and talk about it and, and understand what everybody believes and then try and come yeah. to a common ground on how do you pull this off. And that's yeah. the beauty of this, I think, is that we are 
gonna shatter people's Perception. expectations or perceptions. Like it's like, yeah. oh no, this is bread, so we need butter. Totally. Yeah. And they're gonna have that expectation, yeah. but yeah. if we can twist that around and turn it around and make it, you know, do a 180 twist on it, yeah. then it's gonna be like, whoa, wait a second. Yeah, yeah. and how are yeah. you yeah. serving Fantastic. the bread yeah. and, and yeah, the timing absolutely. of the bread and when does the yeah. bread come out? Does it just come out in a basket and yeah. pass yeah. around your bread? No, it, it's, it's, it's part it, of the it's, show. It's, it's yeah. part of the Certainly. show, it's yeah. the lighting. Yeah. And Jason's very religious. He's a dreamer like me, so that's why we work so well together. And you know, before I came to Winsport, you know, yes, he's he's my one of my very best friends. You know, we spent a lot of time together. So before I made that move to coming to Winsport, really had to think about would this change the dynamic of us? Like, would we would we separate and not be friends? But that hasn't been the case. You know, I think because I have that respect, old school mentality of like work is work and my boss is my boss and I respect those decisions. Doesn't mean I always agree, agree with those decisions, but I respect that and you know, I still wanna do my job the best that I can. As we got to know each other and learn more about each other, we just connected. We connected creatively. We, you know, as, as Leanna goes, uh, she's out there and she needs someone to rein her in and she doesn't know that level. Um, and. I guess our friendships let me take it to that level in business where I'm just like, you know, this is awesome, but you need to understand this side. And I respect her a ton. I respect what she's done in this industry. Um, and so four years ago, I said, it's time. And she has changed the mark on food at Winsport. Once again, um, her ego has no boundaries to cooking hot dogs and fries on the weekend when we're busy to insane dinners, um, she she loves it all. She loves making egg salad sandwiches still, and she loves making insane creative food. Like, in, in everything that we're saying here, because yeah. only so much of it you can put through a dinner, right? Like, there, yeah. but so, so what are those elements from the beginning to the end of our experiences is something that you can take from that. Like the smell is super yeah. important. Yeah. The yeah. the darkness, the, yeah. the, the rawness. The rawness and the fear and, and and you know what I mean? And what I just took from, you know, you look at lightning, you're like, could you imagine if you got a photograph of that? Because that will never happen again. No. So what are those little things that we can do throughout this dinner that someone is scared-ish? Yeah. Right, like, like, is like, is, is it dark? Is it, is it, is it gloomy? Yeah. What does that look like? Mm -hmm. But then, as they're leaving to do drops and, it's and rainbows, it's playful and it's like fresh, really calming. Yeah. But with the sense of relief, there comes a sense of accomplishment because mm -hmm. you survived it too. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Right, and I mean, to your point, yeah. we've grown accustomed to living in structures where yeah. we've lost that. We've yeah. lost that ancient connection. Like, think about before we lived in, in modern structures. Storms could have meant the difference between life and death, totally. literally, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, because of the consequences, mudslides, yeah, all yeah. this other stuff that yeah. comes, yeah. and we've really lost that. For storms, for me, is it's that same thing. It's it's really about you know kind of being calm and then going through that little shelter and then the, the kind of the sunrise. So that it's like a fresh start. It's like yeah. that happiness. It's that glow afterwards. In collaborations, it, it's you know like a lot of people aren't. I've been to lots of collaborations where it wasn't very collaborating at all. <laughs> and it's like, well, why do you call this a collaboration? Because it's you're just doing what you want, and you're not listening to anybody. For our dinner, this is like truly is a collaboration. And you know, um, I'm a very collaborative, driven person. You know how I work well with with my team to, is is you know we talk about it, we try it, and then you know we are non ego driven. So if something it's like if I think something is like the bee's knees, and I think, oh my god, this is like amazing, and I have like you know three other teams saying. We don't, we don't get it. We don't like it. I'm not mad. I'm like, okay, well, let's go back to the drawing board and let's get it. The the theme, I think, is not taken by everybody. They just want to push out amazing food. And every chain I've been to, there's been amazing food and amazing wine. Um, but once again, with cash, you can throw anything on that table and be like, boom, this wine is stellar and amazing. Um, we're trying to make amazing wine even more amazing through sight and sound and emotion. It's more about the emotion. I think we're trying to trigger more emotion from people. If you see lightning, what do you feel when you're eating that? Or if you see or smell this, does it change your emotion? And the answer is yes. So how do you push that boundary a little bit? How do the senses 
to the AV, to the decor, to the linen, to everything that we do in a dinner, how does it actually change people's perceptions? What we need to do with AV is talk about how, how would it change someone's senses to make it super rad. So we want to take these people uh, together. So that's why we are keeping this very close, yeah. like maybe 42 people max, okay. uh, taking these people together to experience this journey. Okay. So with this journey, with a storm, so it's a journey from light to dark, then back to light. Mm -hmm. So how do we implement all the AV things right. to people to have that feeling? Gotcha. Yeah. So you kind of want to have a build from beginning to end. Right. Kind of leave on some kind of And in the, 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 the issue, won't call it an issue, <laughs> the, the challenges um, is we're doing this in our kitchen. Oh, okay. Seen our kitchen. Yeah, we've you, done stuff in there. You know, yeah, and and but it's small. The, the the it's not small it, compared to an event space. It's compared to an event <laughs> space. <laughs> sure. But um, looking looking at the looking at the kitchen itself, in we want we don't want them to see the chefs. We okay. want the theme of the dinner to really change like the senses of it the, yeah. the the draping of it you know we need to talk about what are we going to do to scaffold it how do we yeah. how do we change it like we want to create a forest floor so you're in the forest experience of the storm so we're in the kitchen but we're not the people the shouldn't even know they're in a that's kitchen right, right. It's, it's like oh my god that's beautiful but you everybody looks up you see the clouds you see the sun so mm -hmm. we have yeah. to focus attention down for the beautiful food what is the linen what is the plateware but, but but the natural reaction I yeah. think to everybody is looking up. So you're like, what is up there? What what what? If it's lightning, if it's rolling. clouds, if it's I don't know if there's screens. I don't know. Like, can you make that happen? Yeah. So what? When these people are eating, aside from the lighting and decor or whatever that we're bringing in, are they focusing on it? Like, there, is there any presentations no. or speeches or anything oh. like that? So wait, uh -oh. wait. Right? We have a storyteller. Okay. So there will be no menus. We could have this awesome dinner, but it's not the journey unless we ha don't have unless we have that that AEV, you know, that sound, that light, you know, all all those elements. So to have that them on board with us and that, I think, that's a whole new collaboration. I think we drape you the whole drape. kitchen off and then yeah. build a structure in the middle of the draped off area. Yeah, that's my guess because then you can't see the chefs from outside the structure. Right. You can't see the fridge doors and all that right. stuff, right? Right. Yeah. So yeah. kind of figuring out what our biggest square footage is going to be and then just creating a blank canvas within that and then kind of add elements into it. So whether that's drape or, or lights or... My my goal always, and, and I say this to, to like the team too, our goal is always to create that bite that makes someone go, oh, oh, that's, what is that? And, and they like it, but it's not like, oh, wow, psh, that's garlic or that's something so obvious. You know, we don't want to be obvious. We want to have that curiosity of like, well, what did I just experience? What is that? And they're thinking about it after the dinner. You know, they, they don't know that, you know, this this lion's mane mushroom is like, you know, how special it is, or they don't they don't they don't know any of all those backstories. What they know is like five minutes of eating something. We've worked on it for an entire year. <laughs> then it's gone and like, you know, like for like the palate cleanser, we're working on it for a year and literally it's gone in, in 30 seconds. Like it's bananas yeah. when you think about it. It's like, oh, yeah. it's done. And then it gets them ready for that one. So our goal is to, when they leave that experience, that they're still thinking about it. So we have, act one has, has the canapes, uh, first sit down course, second sit down course, which is the third course. Um, then the fourth course is the palate cleansers, which falls under shelter. So that's stormy, dark, I didn't even think about that, uh, that kind of feeling. And then, then we have main course, and then after main course is when uh, dew drops and rainbow starts, and that's like cheese. Okay, yeah, I'll get all of those from you. After. Uh, sidebar, uh, those lights, I have this like idea for like this cheese, um, to get a che cheese board made with like resin in it. But if we put lights underneath so yeah. it like so shines through. Lights. Yeah, they're little uh, three quarter inch yeah. little twinkle lights or whatever. So can we can and we borrow they're... those? Of course. Yes. I love you. That's awesome. <laughs> okay. I'll tell so... my wife that. <laughs> uh, so let's talk about palette cleanser leaf, uh, lights but over colored ice. Okay. Size. So this is being served directly to, to the individually. Chair. Individually. Um I like your idea of having different colors. 
I think you're probably the same where no pattern, yeah. right, right? Like yeah. staggering the way organics work. Yeah. Like, um, but maybe you choose three. Three yeah. colors only yeah. kind of stick to that, whether it's oh, different yeah. like I said, we can do green. Can do yeah, it's not a rave. No, we yeah. can do a different <laughs> contrast in the ice yeah. so that it's not looking the same. Yeah. When you freeze color into ice, what ends up happening? It makes it slightly murky. It's not like yeah. a um, like a really fluorescent. It's yeah. more of a nice kind of a dull kind of a thing. I'm super excited about this dinner with regards to the Shindor Tissers because I think it's gonna test a lot of the members in a super positive way because it's not gonna be your standard formalized black tie event. It's gonna be more than a meal. It's gonna be an all-encompassing, sensory exploring, um, sensory indulging um, meal. That's what's gonna make this so unique and so different and so out of the box for the Shen is the fact that it, to the best of my knowledge, it has never been done because it's gonna be more than a meal, it's gonna be an experience. Look at those, wow. They look absolutely fantastic. Looks like they're definitely starting to grow a little bit. How old, uh, how old would these be right now? About 80 days. Had them, had them from tiny little ducklings yeah. and then we bring them up on special human grade food, wow. yeah. with organic ingredients. For me, this is, this is where food begins, right? It begins with these conversations and reaching out, you know, to your supply chain and saying, hey, this is, one I, this is what I want to cook. Can you help me with this, right? And our first call was to Andrew, of course, right? He's like, I know a guy. Yeah. <laughs> so to actually have these ducks raised for this specific event, I think we can capture some of that spirit and anticipation. Certainly myself as a cook, you know, the anticipation of, of having this coming up, right? Yeah. Yeah, and, and for me, I think right. every, every cook should see this. Yeah. I think every cook needs to see their food while it's alive or while it's still being grown because respect in life and respect in death, I've always said. of putting a dish down like there's no recovery it has to be the same way every time like I don't know why it wouldn't be I think the there's a loss of that kind of level of service everything is flawless you know perfection you know that's why we've been we've been working on some of these dishes all year the obstacles is just that the, the obstacle is the garnish for the cheese. That is that is an obstacle right now. I mean, for all these months, eight months, it was going to be this little balloon bread. And as of Friday, it's not. So today's Sunday. <laughs> so that's kind of crazy. Hi, Warwick. Uh, that's okay. I'm just stressing out. You know, no big big. No, no big deals. Here's what I'm thinking, and I don't know if this is a possibility, but is it possible? You know, like little uh, cream horn uh, molds. Yeah. Do you have any of those? Yeah. Uh, we, we, we we don't have like the, the large ones. No, no, we don't. But but you have small. But you have small ones. We got private tips. 
ton of pot potatoes. Okay, so yeah. Okay, so here's, is this a possibility that we could wrap a dough around that so we uh, have these cute little, uh, little cone bread things that we could put on the cheese plate? Okay, I'll put it in the car. How many would you like? Well, shit, I don't know. Uh, plate. Well, there's 36 people, and I'm assuming yep. we would need three or four per. I mean, we could only use two. I don't know until we see it. But if we have like one kind of like large tip size and then another two small tip size, you know what I mean? Poor Warwick and Dana who've been months in the springtime, you know, they had this, this vision of this balloon bread for the cheese and they had a special machine just made just to make this. The day of, we get a call of, yeah, it's not working. We can't do it. It's absolutely not happening. I don't know, I was like, okay, what do we do? It's not like we can just get out some Ritz crackers and throw them on the plate. So, so I just was thinking about like, you know, what, what would be cool to make and what we could do. And so they just had this little vision of, you know, a little uh, bread cone. So when I was talking to him, I was just like, okay, you know, do you have those little, you know, cornet, those little horn, you know, molds? Let's do that. So, I mean, so we did. But it was crazy, the, the, that br the, the bread got delivered literally 15 minutes before everything started. The most amazing chefs and the most amazing event people in the world and the most amazing things that happen here is what do you do now? And those are the hardest decisions to make is what, what, what now? Um, and as I said before, at some point you just have to give in to the world and the powers that be and go, okay, but we can figure this out. How can we solve it? It's time for a quick little Beyonce prayer meeting. So that say that like today is the big show. It's like we have to have everything ready like to go in 20 minutes. I think it's been like almost a whole year till we got to here and we've been doing lots of planning and I think we're gonna be in good shape. Sure Things have. that we have to remember is to be super quiet. Things yeah. we learned from our test uh, dinner is noise. And then I think we're good on efficiency. I think, Michael, you're really good at like, getting everyone like in order for timing for plating. Yep. So we're, I think good. we're good. good. Thank good, you, good. Kimberly, for coming to help us. And thank you to like Aaron and Megan for, for coming Kim. extra. Yeah, I think you're ready. She's old news already. Yeah. She was first. Just she was first. Still, right? Yeah. But no, it's really great. I think this is really special for me. It's like, you know, eight year kind of like dream that's coming to reality. So I really appreciate everybody's just focus and commitment. Oh, it's gonna make me cry uh, to to this to this night. So, thank you. It's yeah. awesome. Okay, let's do it. Let's have like an awesome service. We're having our own Beyonce <laughs> prayer meeting. <laughs> okay. Are we ready? Yes, we're ready. <laughs> It works for Beyonce. I've seen the documentaries, okay. so that's why we adopted it in, okay. into our kitchen philosophy. <laughs> we, yeah, so we have oh, daily. No. I've never seen it. Oh, okay. Oh, so so this is just a, like we're, we're just going to talk about things like for for tonight. Okay. Like yeah. you know, it's like we worked hard. We're ready. You know, you've been working months on those sculptures. It's a huge <laughs> commitment. We're ready. We got the preserves. Yeah, we got all the details. Sounds, yeah. For tonight, we got to remember to be quiet. So I yeah. just want to thank yeah. you so okay. much for all the commitment and all the hard work and then let's have a really good service yeah, we will and really let's good. make it let's rock it okay <laughs> you guys are crazy <laughs> we do you this every no day <laughs> well, I'm starting to figure it out. <laughs> okay there were skeptics but they weren't there because it was a small invitation and we hand selected who we would uh, invite to the dinner um, there had been invites extended to some people who declined. And the people that were there, I think we all went there with um, an expectation that was exceeded. We all knew we were going to be part of something special. Because I think probably like a quarter after six, you know, in the next 10 minutes you should start singing. And I think you should do like, see where people are. If they're over there, you can like w walk around, or you can walk around and sing because your pretty voice is pretty loud. Yes. Right. So I think okay, that'll so be good. Well, I'm worried because our uh, work and Dana aren't here yet with our bread. It's five o'clock.
We got a whole pile of stuff from microgreens of, from Fresh Origins, so you can just grab it. Okay, are people here? In the reception, are they arrived? I don't know how many times I've been in that loading dock, but the way they were able to transform that space, I actually had no idea where I was because it was a complete transformation. Not a loading dock and not a kitchen, but now I'm in a forest. And you really felt that, uh, that imagination and that creative uh, sense of, of transforming a space into something amazing. You had foodies that were there, that were just there to experience the food. You had seasoned chef, you had hoteliers, you had restaurateurs. You had a, a good variation of people. But I think that, you know, as soon as we got into that dining space, particularly with the huge screens, everybody really just knew that they were part of something really special. And I think we were all honored to have been able to receive it. The timing on the actual event was impeccable. Like for all those little nuances and all those little details, we were still ahead of our, our time, which is better because you know these guests are sitting down there and they're eating and they're talking, but we don't want them to be there for five hours. You know, we had this dinner, we had, it was very emotional with the storyteller, with, with the AV, the AV was like bananas. These scratching birds up take to air race tumbleweeds, who knows but where. And to and fro, all creatures skelter here and there to find their shelter, any place to find that's warm, and so escape this coming storm. That whole thing that we talked about with, with the lightning strike and the crack of thunder, really came together and I was so thrilled and so happy you know when we're back cleaning and we hear that and then we hear all the diners clapping I was like okay that's that's a win that's super cool I knew rabbit riot was like I wanted to do some sort of rabbit because it's a foresty kind of thing and I saw that dragon fruit and then I just was looking at it and I was like oh yeah a burrow like this is like a, that dragon fruit itself is like a piece of art. And so trying to incorporate that. So I'm excited about that. I'm, I'm excited about the, the rabbit dish. I've been working on these, these ideas for almost a year and there has been a lot of failures. Um, and you know, I just make notes, write them down and try it again. You know, there's always that kind of like imposter, that, that awful person inside you that says, ah, you could have did it better. You know, you could have, you could have tried a little harder. You, you could put one more flower on the plate. I still am struggling of these things that I could have did better. The entree, what's gonna make it so unique is that it is the final course of the storm and a storm is its most intense and its fiercest just before it ends. So I'm going to reflect and portray that on the plate using duck. Now duck is one of my favorite ingredients. It's extremely versatile and what I love about cooking with duck is that you can utilize the whole beast. I will be making um, a sauce out of the bones, I will be emulsifying the leg meat, I will be presenting the breast, um, we will be using the fat as well. Now the presentation, I want the presentation to reflect the power and the intensity a storm has just before it breaks. I'm really excited about the cheese plate. It's very important to have this kind of really radiant kind of warmth coming from this cheese plate, just kind of signal like the storm is over and now it's reawakening. So now it's like, you know, it's dew drops and rainbows. That bronze medal is awarded 
for a one-time collaboration of a, of a very special event. So maybe you host um, an international dinner or you host an uh, international competition. Well, this dinner itself was um, by invitation. It was a small dinner. It was only 36 people. But it was international worthy. I'm not giving the accolade. Uh, our Baye is going to give the accolade. But I do want to present Jason and Leanna with, with uh, the International Bronze Medal from the Shannon. The first community for an international uh, award from the Shane is like bananas. That bronze medal was like crazy. And to share that with Jason for this experience makes it even more impactful to me. You know, because it was, you know, it's been such an idea for such a long time. And in the beginning, you know, in those days, he was just trying to help me achieve it and then he became a part of this. And then to have this was mind-blowing. Like, I, I'm, that is still something as well I'm still trying to process because it's a career highlight. I mean, to, like, I can't even believe that no other, that this has happened. You know, I, I look at it and I'm like, this, did this happen? Like, can this actually be a thing? It's incredible. To see her get it, to see her be rewarded for what she has done, um, you know, all the chefs in that kitchen, every single one of them worked their butts off. Every, from the dishwasher all the way to Liana, to Michael, to Christine, all the ones that came to help us. It was a truly collab dinner, but to, to, to receive that award, as I said to my team in an email two days later, if I could break it into a hundred pieces and give everybody a piece of it, I probably would. What we did was an experience. It was a standalone thing that, you know, it was a goal, it was something we tried to achieve. It wasn't trying to top or X anybody out. It's, a, it's its own thing. So, I mean, there's amazing chefs here and I've been to lots of amazing uh, Shane dinners. Th those are two different things. So, I mean, if someone tried to do that kind of experience, okay, then, then they, comp they could compare it. But to do something else, I don't think that's really what it's, that's not why we did it. That's not why I did it. And I think what it is, part of it is just to, for me, having this connected with the Shane is because it's an audience where people do, are expecting something. You know, you have a captive audience of people that have been all around the world, who've experienced lots of crazy, amazing, beautiful food. So let's, let's do that here in, in Calgary. Let's do that in Canada. Let's show them like something like we could do something like equally as amazing, if not m more amazing than we could in Europe or wherever, in New York or wherever it is. We have the capabilities, we have the talent, we have all, all, all the partners that we can make this happen. So it's, for me, that's really what it was about.